when the pressure's on. Testing communications. How do you hear me? Over. Receiving you loud and clear. Also, test call up. We're at the control panel of the Royal Naval Physiological Laboratory's Deep Trials Unit at Ulverstoke near Portsmouth. This is where frogmen of the Navy Scientific Service get a chance to feel what it's like under a thousand feet of water. But it all takes place above sea level. This is a deep dive simulator, a pressurized chamber that reproduces all the natural hazards that divers and submariners might meet in the lower depths. Report when ready to dive. Report when ready to dive. Diver ready for the water. In the water, test for leaks. In the water, test for leaks. They slowly raise the pressure in the chamber to nearly 50 times normal outdoor conditions. This way, the frogmen, only a few feet from the surface, take a theoretical dive down to 200 fathoms. And if pressure's brought up too quickly, there's trouble. Stop! Diver has ears. Lower the pressure. When the diver has ears, as they say, he's been pressurized too quickly and has to come slowly back to the safety level. Experiments like these are used to make undersea exploration easier and safer. While satellites spin further out into the universe, there's still a vast unknown world of riches around our coasts. So the men drilling for gas, oil and minerals all benefit from what the Alverstoke divers discover. When they've surfaced, the frogmen have to be re-acclimatized before they can get to the outside world. After a really deep dive, the frogmen must be made as comfortable as possible in the decompression chamber. There's even central heating and a naval doctor always on call because depressurization can go on for anything up to a week. This is the way we're learning the secrets of the deep. But as ever these...